All right, I think we can begin. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to our second general body meeting. Um, if you came to our first general body meeting, this meeting will be very similar, but we had a lot of different policy changes and changes to our board positions. So this is definitely still a very useful meeting to attend. So a meeting overview, we will be going through our board introductions again very briefly. We'll talk about what Club Med Virtual is, our membership policies, our shadowing policies, our workshops, and our mentoring. Then we'll go through some upcoming opportunities, and then we'll go into our winter break schedule. So just an introduction about me. Uh, my name is Bisma Rana. I am the founder and president of Club Med Virtual. My academic overview, um, I'm a junior. My major is psychology honors. My minor is biological sciences. Um, some activities that I do in addition to Club Med Virtual are I'm a treasurer for HOSA. I'm the recruitment chair for Circle K International. I'm a volunteer at Beaumont Hospice and I'm a research assistant at Dr. Bowen's Pharmacology and Toxicology Lab. Hi everyone, um, I'm also a co-founder and the VP for Club Med. Um, my name is Jessica um, and I am a junior. Um, I'm a bio, bio major, my minor's in nutrition and food science. Um, some activities that I do is that I'm a medical assistant in an endocrinology office. Um, I volunteer at Henry Ford. I volunteer for a crisis text line and I'm a research assistant for Dr. Van Burkham. Hi everyone, um, my name is Pasha Salvi and uh, I'm a junior at Wayne State University. Um, I'm majoring in biological sciences on a pre-med track and minoring in health psychology. I'm currently a research assistant at a molecular medicine and genetics lab. Um, I also volunteer at Children's Hospital of Michigan and for the Wayne State University's Warrior Ambassador Program. Hi everyone, my name is Mohammed. I am also a co-founder and the other secretary. I'm a junior at Wayne State. I'm majoring in biological sciences with a minor in public health. And I currently work as a medical scribe at the Dearborn Pain Clinic. I also do volunteer work at the Beaumont Hospital, uh, at, a at a free clinic, a MAPI free clinic, and at the Open Door Food Ministry. Hi, um, my name's Anika. I'm a freshman um, and I'm majoring in public health and a minor in health psychology. Um, activities that I'm involved in, I will volunteer at two hospitals in the pediatric departments, and I'm a youth director for RFS. Um, so duties as public relations, we have to contact organizations and speak for shadowing opportunities, um, seeking new opportunities for involvement and suggesting other ideas for improvement, maintaining the opportunity recommendation form, which I'll talk about more later, and managing graduate student shadowing. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon and I'm also a public relations officer. I'm a sophomore and I'm a major in public health, minor in global health and social medicine. I'm on the track and my activities other than Club Med is volunteering at Henry Ford West Bloomfield. Hey everyone, I'm Nisma. I'm a junior this year. I'm majoring in public health honors and I'm minoring in political science and then some of the activities I'm involved in. I'm a medical assistant at a podiatrist office and I'm also a volunteer at the Children's Hospital of Michigan. Hello everyone, I'm Aditya Adi Kumar and I'm currently a freshman majoring in neuroscience and minoring in public health. Some of my activities include being a research assistant at Dr. Shankari's cardiovascular and pulmonary sleep research lab. And I'm also one of the public relations directors for Pre-Professional Medical Society. Hi everyone, my name is Valerie Georges. I'm a third year neuroscience major with a double minor in Spanish and biology. On the pre-med track, I will be applying to med school this upcoming cycle. Besides Club Med, I do research with Dr. Paduzzi in her neurology lab. I volunteer at Forgotten Harvest, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, and the Gary Bernstein Health Clinic, where I work in the pharmacy, consult, and triage pa patients. The duties of the service committee are to manage workshops. Our first one was yesterday, and I will go into more detail on those shortly. In addition to this, we manage fundraisers and reach out to other novel organizations to encourage larger outreach and audiences at our shadowing sessions. We want to make our club accessible to all. 
Hello everyone, my name is Aya. I'm a third year student at Wayne State. I'm majoring in bio and my minor's in chemistry. Uh, besides this club, I do research with Dr. Peduzzi at the med school. I volunteer at Forgotten Harvest and I tutor ESL kids at my, uh, in my community. Hello everyone, um, my name is Mohamed Sarai. I'm a sophomore at Wayne State and minoring in bio. Some of my activities are volunteering at Boma Hospital. I'm a patient sitter at DMC Hospital I'm, and I'm also an EMT student. Hey guys, um, my name is Sarah. I'm a sophomore and I'm majoring in kinesiology um, and I'm on the pre-medical track. Um, right now I'm working as a physical therapy technician and I'm also a Red Cross ambassador. So basically what um, our duties are for rec the recruitment chair is that we're in charge of all aspects of the mentoring service that we provide. And then we also um, play a role in sending out all the reminders via Remind 101 and um, in the member group chat as well. Hey guys, my name is Carlos. I'm a sophomore. Uh, my major is bio and my minor is uh, business administrations. Uh, I'm also an ER scribe at St. John's Hospital, and I'm the co-vice president of Wayne State Hosa. Hi guys, my name is Grace. I'm a sophomore, and my major is public health. My minor is biological sciences, and I'm a sorority member of AEFI and a member of the Pre-Professional Medical Society. Okay, thank you so much to my amazing board for those introductions. Now we'll be going into what Club Med Virtual is, our winter break schedule and upcoming opportunities. If you guys have any questions throughout the session, please post them in the chat and we will address them as we proceed. Um, and then all of the links discussed in today's session will be posted in the link tree. If you check out the link tree posted in the chat, it will have every single link that we're discussing today. So what is Club Med Virtual? So Club Med Virtual is an all-inclusive organization created by Wayne State University students designed to provide remote shadowing, mentoring, and workshop opportunities for all students. This organization strives to ease the transition to virtual learning by providing informative methods to actively participate in one's community safely and thereby control the spread of COVID-19. So although this organization tailors to COVID-19 relief, it will still remain active when in-person engagement resumes. The remote aspect of this organization caters to individuals with varying socioeconomic factors or disabilities that may prevent them from attending in-person sessions. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about membership for our club. Um, in order to apply for board positions next year, members must um, earn at least 20 participation points by April 1st, 2021. General body meetings like these, um, they count as two points towards your general attendance. And then all events, whether it's a mentor, workshop, sh or shadow session, all count as one point. Um, we ask that you please keep a running document of your points to compare with us at the end of the year. And it is mandatory for Wayne State students to register for our organization on Get Involved. If you're not registered with us on Get Involved, we cannot confirm with your participation or send you emails with news and reminders. Um, that link in the um, PowerPoint is the link to Get Involved and also in the link tree, um, there is the link to Get Involved as well. If you are a non Wayne State individual who wants to join our organization, you can still engage in all of our opportunities, but we ask that you track your own participation on your own time. Um, only registered Wayne State University members may join our member group me. Um, those have and have their uh, attendance tracked and recorded and then um, only the Wayne State students will receive the certificate with shadowing hours. Um, we can still write or you can guys can still write on your resumes that um, you are attending our meetings and you've um, attended the shadow sessions, but we just can't really confirm it. The only exception to the non Wayne State University uh, rule is for our mentors. We can still provide certificates for our mentors. And then all Wayne State University students are permitted to join our member group me. Um, the link is in that slide. You can also just point your phone or you'd like your phone camera at the QR code right there. If you need to join it right now, this um, link is also in our link tree as well.
So all students, regardless of university or age, will be offered various remote opportunities to shadow both graduate students and professionals via Zoom through a case study and Q&A session. Shadow session document is linked right there. It's also in the link tree. Um, attendance for Wayne State University students only is marked for both shadow hours and points via the Google survey administered at the end of each session, which closes to 30 minutes after the session terminates. Sessions are intended to increase students' exposure to various specialties and the process of performing a differential diagnosis. So a lot of people ask, if you're attending a shadow session, do you get both attendance points and shadow hours? And the answer is yes, you get both, um, but only if you are a Wayne State University student. So just a disclaimer, medical schools may or may not accept these hours in congruence with in-person shadowing hours. We highly recommend that you, that you complete in-person shadowing hours in addition to your participation in this program, as this should not be used as a substitute for integral application requirements that obligate in-person engagement once COVID-19 subsides. So if you are listing us on your applications, um, list the name as Club Med Virtual and the contact as clubmedvirtual at gmail.com. And then when you're describing what you did with this organization, say that you did virtual shadowing with graduate students and professionals and no actual patient was observed. It's really important that you guys emphasize that this is in no way in-person shadowing um, and you cannot list the guest speaker's name or their contact information on your applications. You can only list this organization. Um, so this is just like a mock certificate of what you may be receiving at the end of the semester. Um, so these will be provided at the end of the winter 2021 semester. But uh, if you are graduating earlier and need the certificate within a certain time frame, uh, please tell us via email and we'll try to do uh, what we can. So why shadow now? Although virtual shadowing does not replace or entail the same experience of interaction as in-person shadowing hours, Participating in these events shows a willingness and dedication to continued learning in a crisis situation. By seeking and undertaking opportunities to get involved in your community during this time and building up your experiences, you are showing graduate programs that you attempted to find positives and to connect with others in a tough and disadvantageous academic time for pre-healthcare students. So workshops will be on a monthly basis and they are scheduled with healthcare professionals who will demonstrate healthcare related skills to us. This will promote the development of these skills for educational purposes. For example, yesterday we had a great session with Professor Hammam who taught us the difference between heart attacks and cardiac arrest. He went over how to complete CPR. Um, this was posted on YouTube if you missed it. And if you did attend, please make sure to text him to get your certificate. Our next workshop will be on blood pressure and we have many more planned for the future to teach us different skills like how to draw blood, for example, read x-rays, EKGs, and so much more. Um, linked on this slide is a document that includes all the workshop sessions, and you can also find the link to this document in our link tree. To receive participation points, Wayne State students must complete the Google survey that is administered at the end of the session. So just a disclaimer that although some of the workshops may focus on teaching practical skills like CPR or vaccine administration, they are not a substitute for official training or certification unless the speaker specifies otherwise. Like for example, yesterday with Professor Hammam, if the speaker does provide certification, it is the responsibility of the club of the member, sorry, to contact and coordinate with the speaker. These sessions are meant to be informal, entertaining, and a method of de-stressing by observing a new skill. And some of our future topics will include mental health workshops, MMIs, mock interviews, and some other med school application related sessions. So Club Med Virtual will be offering drop-in mentoring sessions open to all students each month through upperclassmen pre-healthcare students who are in junior standing or higher from any college or university. These sessions do not require registration or signups. Mentors may offer advice on a number of different topics, including research, general college advice, or guidance on varying tracks such as pre-med, dental, PA, farm, PT optometry, et cetera. The November mentor schedule descriptions of each mentor and Zoom links can be found on our mentor Google calendar which is linked there and it's also in our link tree. 
So we're just going to do some very brief mentor introductions. Um, I believe the names bolded here are mentors that were able to attend today. So we can just go in order, starting with Melanie. Hi, uh, my name is Melanie. I am a junior at Wayne State. I am an honors bio major with a Spanish minor on the pre-med track. So I can offer advice regarding any of these topics. Um, I usually do sessions on Sundays. So if you have any questions regarding these things, or if you just need general college advice, feel free to stop by. My next session is this Sunday at 5 p.m. Hi guys, um, sorry. Okay, so my name is Chelsea Chaco and I go to um, Nova Southeastern University in Florida. Um, and I'm in the dual dental program. So on a pre-dental track, um, junior, and I am majoring in biology and my minor is in business psychology and honors transdisciplinary studies. Um, and for the week, for the month of November, I have uh, mentoring sessions, usually on Sundays um, at around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you wanna come by, please come by. I also um, have information on the DAT and classes and stuff like that. Uh, so my name is uh, Danny. I'm a junior at Wayne State. I'm a public health major and I'm also a medical assistant at a cardiology clinic and I, um, I'm a SI leader for Orgo 1 this semester. I'll be doing Orgo 2 next semester. So if anyone's doing that, let me, let me know. But uh, yeah, I think my next session's on Sunday or Saturday this week, 12 o'clock. Um, hey everyone, uh, my name's Karan. I am a senior at Michigan State University. Um, sorry if I look like trash. I was studying for my physics exam, so that's why. Anyways, um, I'm a kinesiology major. I minor in exercise physiology and um, I have research experience. I am currently shadowing a couple of doctors. And if you guys just have any general pre-med questions or I'm taking a gap year as well. So if you wanna ask about that, I'm taking that next year, hop in anytime. And if you're just stressed about school and one event, come through. I have my next session tomorrow at 1 p.m. I look forward to seeing you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Cato. I'm a pre-pharmacy mentor. I'm in my third year and I go to Wayne State. Um, I am a pre-pharmacy major and if anyone's ever interested in pharmacy and even med or anything, I have some type of knowledge, I guess. Um, and I typically hold my sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And my next upcoming session is this on Tuesday on the 24th. So not this week, but afterwards. Hi everyone, I'm Rita. I'm a senior at Wayne State and I'm a major in public health and a minor in psychology. Um, so I can give advice on scheduling and general questions on pre-med. I'm also a board member for Pre-Professional Medical Society. I'm a, I'm a like a school information officer, so I know about the various med schools and I can give you tips on that. And my um, sessions are usually Thursdays at four. Thank you. Hi, my name is Baba. I'm uh, a senior at Wayne State University. I'm double majoring in biological science and neuroscience with a minor in public health. I am on the pre-dental track, so I've taken my DAT, and if you have any questions on that, you can ask me. I already had my session yesterday, so the next one will probably be next month, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Nadine. I am a junior and I am a psychology major and bio minor. Um, I am also on the pre-med track. So if you guys have any questions about that or about um, psychology classes or anything like that, feel free to stop by at my sessions. My sessions usually are Wednesdays and Fridays and I think my next one is on the 25th. Hi everyone, I'm Hit Patel and I'm a junior at Wayne State and my major is bio and I'm an econ minor. I'm on the pre-med track and my last mentoring session was 7th November and I'm usually available on the weekends. 
Hi everyone, I'm Apala. Sorry, I can't turn my video on because I'm in the car, but I'm a junior at Wayne State with a bio major with an honors co-major and a neuroscience minor on the pre-med track. So if you have any questions about volunteering or about honors classes or anything relating to that, I can definitely help. My next session is on the 25th of November and then the 28th of November, and I usually do mine on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Okay, if Justin is here, um, Justin can go. If not, Rida, you're welcome to go. Hi guys, my name is Rida. Um, I'm a junior studying neuroscience and French. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have like a cold right now, but um, I also volunteer as a medical assistant at a neurologist's clinic. I'm an academic tutor with the peer assisted learning. Um, and I'm also on the board of the virtual research committee. Um, club at Wayne State. So if you guys have any questions regarding anything uh, regarding like volunteering or research opportunities, feel free to come drop by my mentoring sessions. Uh, they're typically on Tuesdays. My next one's on Tuesday the 24th at 2.30. Hi guys, I'm Eli, um, bio major on the pre-dental track. This is my last semester at Wayne State. Um, I'm the vice president of the Diverse Dental Society I've taken my debt in August. I volunteer at the St. Vincent and Sarah Fisher Center where I tutor elementary school students. Um, so if you guys have any questions regarding dental applications, DAT, general college advice, I'm here to help. Um, my next meeting is Thursday and I have one during Thanksgiving break on Friday as well. So hope to see you guys there. Hi everyone, my name is Noor. I'm a junior at Wayne State University right now, and I'm planning to major in public health honors with the university uh, co-honors as well, with a, with a minor in neuroscience. Um, so far right now, I've been volunteering at Red Cross, and I'm also a research assistant over at the Stress, Trauma, and Anxiety Research Clinic. Uh, that's with the med school. And I'm also an intern at the Hutta Clinic. And in terms of leadership, I'm also a vice president at the at virtual research. And yeah, so in terms of availabilities, I would say I usually do the weekdays in the afternoon. So if you have any questions regarding pre-med or research as well, anything in general, you can come to me. Awesome, thank you guys so much for those introductions. Um, so as you guys can see, we have a very wide range of mentors, a wide range of services. It's not just confined to med, there is also dental mentors, there's uh, PA mentors, pharmacy mentors, um, and we have a lot more people. So definitely if you guys wanna check them out, just go to our Google Calendar and you guys can see descriptions on all of our mentors and learn more about them. So some upcoming opportunities. Okay, so these are just some upcoming op, um, like events that we have. Um, as you see, the this slide kind of encompasses how diverse of a club we are. Like you can see that we have a PA coming up um, that specializes in cardiovascular vas um, surgery. Um, we have a dental student coming up. We have another PA, we have a doctor. Um, so as you see, we have an optometry student. There's just all of these different things that our club kind of encompasses and um, like different services we provide. Um, we also have an admissions panel, um, as you see on Monday, November 23rd, it's with the OU William Beaumont um, Medical School. So um, I hope to see you guys all there. I think that's gonna be a very important event, especially for us pre-med students. Um, I don't know, Bisma, if you wanna put your input on OU's medical school as well. Yeah, I've learned a lot about all of the medical schools in Michigan. And just from talking to medical students, I would say OU has one of the best curricula I've ever seen. Um, so if you guys are interested in attending OU or just want to know what their admissions process requires, I would definitely recommend um, attending that panel. So some other upcoming opportunities, we have two board positions available. Um, one board position is for a social media chair. 
So this is due on Wednesday, November 18th at 11.59 p.m. Um, as a social media chair, you will have to create social media posts uh, daily for shadow mentor and workshop sessions. You have to record sessions and upload them to YouTube, and you have to help us design case study information posts, which you'll learn more about if you are recruited. Uh, the requirements of this position, it is a five to 10 hours per week dedication. We really wanna emphasize that. Um, you should have a general knowledge of graphic design um, and very strong virtual communication skills. Uh, we, our organization primarily communicates via Google Docs and GroupMe, so you should be familiar with those platforms. Um, and then you should also be familiar with Instagram, YouTube, and just like I said, group me. Um, we also have an event spokesperson application available. This deadline is a bit further. It's Monday, November 30th at 11.59 p.m. Um, duties of an event spokesperson, you have to coordinate with speakers to create session agendas, lead all Zoom sessions and facilitate conversations with speakers, and mediate or manage shadow sessions to ensure that all students are following proper etiquette. Uh, this is also a five to 10 hours per week dedication. Um, you need to have strong public speaking and communication skills and strong interpersonal skills. Um, if this is something that interests you, please don't hesitate to apply for either of these positions. So we're going to be uh, implementing a member of the month and we're going to be highlighting them on our Instagram every month. So how we pick them is going to be whoever is the, has like the most outstanding attendance and will have uh, participation. So you guys like participation that pretty much means like you're engaging with the sessions and you're asking questions and stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get your photo. We're going to put a brief description of you on our Instagram. And for every month, um, that will be presented the first day of the next month. So for November, um, the person who's picked will be presented on December 1st. And by activeness, even just talking in our group me chats, liking messages, things like that, people that are just active in general could be picked for this. Um, we're mainly doing that because it's, it's possible that somebody um, has the same level of points every single month. So we're also taking into account how active you guys are. So for our fundraising, basically um, throughout this whole year, we're gonna be um, holding a bunch of fundraisers. Um, and this is done through uh, many different methods. Um, our last one was on Instagram. So we're probably gonna do that again amongst other things. Um, for our first one, which was um, a week or so ago, uh, we actually made $202. So we just really wanna thank you guys for your contributions um, and partic participation um, in that. So for future donations, um, all donors, um, even uh, for, this is both for Wayne students and non-Wayne students, uh, you're gonna have an opportunity to get raffle tickets as you donate. This, the way that this will work is for each dollar that you donate, um, you will receive one raffle ticket. Um, and the prizes will vary. So um, we'll let you guys know as we get closer to that, what they will be. Okay, okay, so now we're going to go into our winter break schedule. So for winter break, Club Med Virtual will not be offering shadow sessions or events during winter break or final week. Um, mentor sessions will still be offered though. So um, the mentors will still be running and we'll post the calendar as um, that comes closer. Um, anything you see boxed in red over here is um, the finals week or winter break. Um, so no sessions are being scheduled from December 16th to January 1st. We may hold a few sessions um, before break resumes on the 11th. So as you see on the 7th, we already actually have a session planned. Um, but between the 16th and January 1st, there will be no sessions. I know a lot of people in the group me express that they're super interested in obtaining shadow hours over winter break. Uh, we currently just don't have enough board members available to help us conduct these. Um, and we also just feel like our speakers and doctors that we're communicating with deserve that time off. Um, so just in that interest, we will be um, pretty inactive during winter break. All right, so the opportunity feedback form is um, just a form that we check daily for 
hosting opportunities and events that you guys are interested in. So if you have any specific specialties you want us to provide uh, events for or specific workshops that you guys want or anything or just feedback in general, um, you guys can check out the form and fill it out and we check it daily to provide those opportunities for you. If you have any questions, feel free to email the PR um, people. So that would be me and Sharon and um, we can try to figure something out for different events that you guys are interested in. Um, all right, so this is an overview of our Instagram page. And I think I forgot to mention earlier, but I'm a part of this, so I'm a social media chair. So we use our social media. So our only platforms that we're on right now is Instagram and YouTube. Um, so as you can see here, we have like a few posts dedicated to our shadow sessions and we have them color coded. So the blue ones are for any doctors or physician assistants that we're having. So Chelsea's gonna be our next one. And then Dan Greenberg up here, he's our graduate student from dental school. Um, and then I also have a few calendars up here. So um, they have like, it's just like a little overview of what's coming up in the next week. Um, and those come out Sunday nights. And then if you're not on Instagram, I also, uh, I also add them to our group meet group chat. So don't worry if like you don't have an Instagram, everything is gonna be on our group me as well. Um, we also started implementing a new thing um, a case study follow-up. So the latest one I have is a myocardial infarction. Um, and more information about these are on our YouTube channel. And so the case studies that um, like we, our graduate students or our doctors present, we'll just do a little post about that. Um, and then we have like a few announcements. So the board position announcement, opportunity rec form, and our mentor sessions, that's all there. And then we also have a few highlights at the top. And that's just of uh, like our um, like our new policies and IG takeovers is a new thing that we have. So be sure to check out all that because if you have any questions, our Instagram will most likely answer it. And then the next thing is our YouTube channel. So basically that's just like a recording of all of our workshops. So we only have one up there right now our CPR workshop. And then if you missed a graduate student session or a shadowing session with a doctor, it's gonna be on our YouTube channel, so. As long as the um, doctor or student gives us consent to record them, it will be up there. Um, but if we're not getting consent from them, then we can't record them. Just wanna put that out there. So make sure to attend. <laughs> So this is just all of our contact information. If you guys wanted it on one slide, if you want to take a picture of this, you can, but you'll also receive an email with this at the end of the session. Um, so if you ever have any questions, um, you should either contact our organization or contact me. If it's a very specific question to one's position, then you're welcome to contact one of the people um, on chair or on PR or my secretaries. All right, so thank you guys so much for attending Club Med Virtual Second General Body Meeting. Um, this session will be posted on YouTube shortly after, and this PowerPoint will be emailed to all members registered on our membership roster. Please complete the answers that you received. Um, and please contact us if you have any questions. Since we did finish a bit early, you guys are welcome to ask us any questions now and stay back. We'll be here for a few minutes. <laughs>